Hey WordPress fans, SiteGround has recently released a WordPress auto migrator feature for their hosting. So this makes it a lot easier to transfer a WordPress site from another host onto SiteGround's platform. So they just recently released this in August of 2018 and I wanted to walk you through the process and take a look. So when you sign up for a new SiteGround account, you'll have the option here to set up your website and I chose transfer a website and now I'm going to choose the use the WordPress auto migrator. I'll go ahead and click confirm. I don't want to add anything to enhance my account so I'm just going to go to the bottom and click confirm once again. And now let's click complete setup. It says I'm going to be redirected back to the WordPress auto migrator tool. I'll go ahead and click this link to automatically redirect myself. So here we land on a page where we can generate a token. So we just want to make sure if you have multiple domains in your account, you want to make sure you select the proper one here. Since we only have one, it's automatically selected for us. We can leave this enter path optional. We can leave this field blank. This is only if you uh, want to install WordPress in a different path than the root directory, but we're just going to keep it in the root directory. So just leave that blank. Go ahead and click generate. So you'll be given this migration token. You definitely want to copy this and store it somewhere, so keep it in a safe place. We'll need it in the next step when we go to enter it into the actual plugin. So just copy it and save it for now. Once you've copied it, you'll also see it listed on this page under active tokens. You'll have the domain name and then the token for the migration. So if you need to come back here and copy it again, you can do so. After you've generated your token, what you need to do is log into your existing WordPress website. So wherever it's currently hosted, just log into your normal WordPress admin area. Now we need to install the SiteGround Auto Migrator plugin. So we'll go to Plugins and Add New. And let's come up here to Search and we'll put in SiteGround Migrator. Should be the only option. Go ahead and install now and then activate it. Now look in your left hand navigation menu and down near the bottom you should see SG Migrator. So let's navigate there. So this page makes it super simple. The only two things we have to do here is just enter the migration token in this main box right here. We copied that during the previous step. And then you'll want to keep this box checked to send a notification email. Just enter whatever email address you want to receive that notification at and put that in that box here. And now let's click initiate transfer. This could take a little bit depending on how large your site is. So I'm just going to let this go ahead and do its thing and then I'll jump back with you once it's all finished. And we have bad news. So the migration did not work. I got an error message that said cannot download manifest file. I'm not sure what the manifest file is. It just, I'm sure it has something to do with the way SiteGround does their migration. Unfortunately, this was unsuccessful. At first, I thought this might have something to do with a security plugin that I have installed on my WordPress site. However, I uninstalled that plugin tried the migration again, and it failed again with the same exact error message. So it wasn't a security plugin. I'm not sure what went wrong. I'd love to hear feedback from any of you if you tried the migrator. Um, what was your experience? What host were you using? What kind of a WordPress setup did you have? Maybe there are some, some bugs to the migrator. It is a brand new tool, but there only are two reviews right now. Both of them are positive, so it's working for some people. Um, just love to hear your feedback in the comments. The silver lining, though, is that when you sign up for a new SiteGround account, they actually offer one free website transfer. So if you try this process and it doesn't work for you either and you get an error message, just go ahead and reach out to SiteGround support, and they will move over one website free of charge if you just signed up for a new account with them. So I hope you got something out of this video. I was hoping it was going to work. Unfortunately, it didn't, but sometimes that's just the way things go. Again, please share your comments uh, down below, and thanks for watching.